Taking the helm of their CSC lineup, Olympus of today announced a brand new flagship model. It's this, the OMD EM1X. It's a camera that's aimed at professionals, particularly sports and wildlife photographers. I'm here today at the Bavarian Forest National Park Center, where I'm gonna see just what it can do. And I believe there might be some interesting subjects just up here. With many manufacturers embracing full frame sensors in their CSCs in the last year, Olympus have decided to double down on their Micro Four Thirds chip and have fitted this with a 20.4 megapixel live MOS sensor. Now, while this physically smaller sensor size isn't known for rivaling full frame sensors in terms of its low light performance, the two times crop that it produces with optics is quite useful to sports and wildlife photographers. This is a 300 millimeter prime that I've got on this lens. It's gonna give me 600 millimeters of reach. And if this was a DSLR with a 600 millimeter prime on it, there's no way I'd be able to support it using just one hand alone. It's gonna be a much, much bigger system. Now this pixel count isn't the highest available on a CSC, but it should offer plenty of resolution for most people's printing needs while helping to ensure that the sensor's low light performance isn't too hampered by an excessive amount of pixels squeezed onto that smaller chip. It's matched with a dual pair of TruePic 8 image processors. This camera captures 12-bit RAWs and has a 200 to 6400 native ISO range. It's got an extended low of 100 and an extended high of 25600. The camera has two high resolution shot modes which make use of the image stabilization system to create a composite file with an increased resolution. The tripod high res shot mode produces 80 megapixel images while a new handheld shot mode will produce 50 megapixel images without any signs of blur caused by handshake. Handheld telephoto shooting with this camera is a real possibility thanks to the world's most effective image stabilization system. When combined with one of Olympus's pro lenses, this camera can compensate for an absolutely crazy seven and a half stops of camera shake. Given that the six and a half stop image stabilization system found on the EM1 Mark II was already very well respected, that Olympus was able to push its performance even more on this device is seriously impressive. This performance is achieved through a combination of the image stabilization in the brand's pro lenses and a newly developed gyro sensor. Whether you're shooting stills or video, sharp looking results will now be easier to achieve than ever before, as any movement of the camera will be effectively combated during exposure or smoothed during footage capture. With 121 autofocus points, all of which are the most accurate cross type, the EM1X's autofocus system builds on that of the EM1 Mark II's, but has a new autofocus algorithm which promises improved speed and improved accuracy. Continuing to operate down to light levels as low as minus 6 EV, it's rare, even in near darkness, to find yourself in a shooting situation where this camera fails to lock onto a subject. So let's talk about the handling of this camera a little bit more. It's obviously got a very different form factor to most of the devices in the OMD line. We've got this big vertical inbuilt grip, which means that you can now shoot much easier in both portrait and landscape orientation. We've got dedicated controls, dedicated shutter button in both of those orientations. And it also means that Olympus has been able to incorporate two batteries into this camera, which means that this device is now gonna be able to shoot for 2,580 shots from one full charge. Those two batteries can be charged in camera in 120 minutes via USB, which also means that portable chargers can be used in the field if you're out on location and you run out of juice. The layout, shape and height of all buttons on this camera have been designed to deliver controls that enable its user to concentrate on shooting with their eye to the viewfinder while still having all major settings a finger's reach away. This viewfinder has a large 0.83 times magnification and a solid 2.36 million dot resolution. It's been paired with a 3 inch very angle touchscreen that could be front faced for self recording or positioned for high and low angle composition. 
It's got a large form factor for an Olympus, but remains relatively compact among professional aimed CSCs and DSLRs, especially those with an inbuilt grip. This camera has refined weather sealing, which makes it splash proof and not just weather resistant. It's also dust proof and freeze proof down to minus 10 Celsius. This means that even if you're caught on location in a downpour, you should be free to finish grabbing your shots without having to worry as to the device's durability. A new Wi-Fi capture mode allows tethered shooting without a cable and makes it possible to transfer images wirelessly to a computer with the Olympus Capture camera control software, as well as the camera providing the option for standard file transfer and basic operation via a smart device. This camera also has built-in GPS, a built-in manometer, a built-in temperature sensor, and a built-in compass. So when you're taking your images, you're gonna be recording lots of field information if you want to as well. Now when it comes to burst shooting, the EM1X is capable of some truly crazy speeds. With autofocus locked on the first frame, it can achieve 60 frames per second for those truly blink and miss it moments. While with autofocus and auto exposure tracking, it's still capable of a highly impressive 18 frames per second. Now I haven't been given the official buffer counts for those shooting speeds, but at 10 frames per second, Olympus says it will max out at around 287 roars, while at 15 frames per second, it will max out at around 103 roars. Admittedly, I've only been shooting some quick bursts here, but I'm yet to be left frustrated by any slowdown today. These speeds should more than meet the needs of most shooters. The camera also has a pro capture mode, which records up to 35 frames retroactively from when the shutter button is released during shooting. It's designed for action photography of subjects that move unpredictably. Alongside its solid stills capabilities, the EM1X has some solid movie making functionality. It can shoot cinematic 4K at 30 frames per second in 10 bit 422, and it can shoot full HD video at 120 frames per second. That's four times slow motion if you play it back at 30 frames per second. To counteract changing light conditions typical during documentary and nature shooting, the camera also supports log shooting. OM Log 400 delivers movies with reduced loss of detail in shadows and highlight blowouts and greater freedom over video creativity through colour grading. The device has a 3.5mm headphone input for audio monitoring and one for the input of an external mic. The EM1X is an extremely well-built device with some very attractive features, in particular that will-beating image stabilisation system and some truly spectacular burst shooting speeds. Now, if you're a Micro Four Thirds user who specialises in sports and wildlife, it's going to be a very attractive proposition indeed. If you're looking to adopt your first professional mirrorless camera system, that smaller sensor may put off some professionals, but on the flip side, you know, you have got to remember that this is a much more compact system and that may appeal to others. So, for more information about this camera, visit lcegroup.co.uk.